Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here and welcome back to my channel. Um, there's gonna be no fancy green screen, fancy. There's gonna be no green screen today because I just don't have time for that. I wanna get this React out and get it out in a timely manner. It's already kind of getting late for an upload, but whatever. Um, before we get into the React, I think a big round of applause or congratulations are in order for the Slayton sisters for getting their teal, getting on that TLC show. Um, I hope it works out for them. There's been a lot of success from the My 600 Pound Life and that whole era or that whole set, like that whole part of the TLC team. Like they have had some successes, but they've also had a lot of failures. Um, I hope that they take, they don't take this opportunity for granted and they actually get the help that they need. And, you know, I also love that Tammy's throwing a little bit of shade to Amberlynn on Instagram. Amberlynn, this could have been you, dog. I, this would have been perfect for Amberlynn Real Talk because if there's two things Amberlynn loves, it's attention and, well, I don't know. Maybe that's probably it. She just loves attention. So I think that this would have been good for her if she had balled, balled up and had bossed up and just fucking done it. But, you know, she decided not to. The reason why Tammy was... The, the reasoning for... ARLR quitting according to, or not doing according to Tammy was because a hair loss. I don't know. It's very, I don't know. It's Tammy. Okay. I had some other people telling me in my DMs and stuff that the reason she wasn't picked or whatever was because she is in, in fact super negative. There's a lot of dark stuff in her past and the TLC people didn't want to have to deal with the PR nightmare of that. I personally think it's because she didn't want to do the shower scene. I honestly think, and if you watch My 600 Pound Life or iterations of that show, you know that there's a shower scene. And my guess is that Amberlynn didn't want to do the shower scene. So that's my feeling on that. But without further ado, let's get into this react. Hey guys. Welcome hey guys. To Vlogmas Day 4. So, we're going to- She stopped- she stopped explaining the like days thank god maybe she's finally keying in on that start off with i like the pink hoops recipe. i know i get judged on my soups which is okay i get judged on all the food i make yeah because it totally looks fine. gross we're just gonna live our best life and D this is your best life like who cares what other people think so, you care a lot you need that's why you practically turkey. respond to us in Onion. your videos and on snapchat a potato, some diced tomatoes. All right. Chicken broth. Oh, that didn't say low sodium on it, girl. Baby spinach. Whatever seasonings you want to use, and if you want it spicy, you can use hot sauce, which I'm going to be using tapatio. Why don't you get like a jalapeno okay, also, or something? Get like some peppers. Some questions. Why do you get pre-wrapped produce like? My cucumber. Girl, you ain't getting those questions. You're just watching the reaction channels. My Don't be fretting. Potatoes, broccoli. So there's two reasons. Everything is always pre-washed. Plus I get the- Even if it is pre-washed, Amberlynn, you should still wash it at home. Like, I don't- For someone who, who thinks that they paint vegetables at grocery stores, you're very trusting of the people who pre-package your food. Heebie-jeebies because Everyone's at the store. It's like flu season, cold season. Everyone's like touching stuff, like the bell peppers and like the- Well, first of all, you're gonna cook the food anyway, so it would destroy any of the viruses or bacteria that are on it potentially. And secondly, like, you still touching it all, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> cucumbers and like- You don't think about, you don't like think a hundred people them. touch that package of cucumbers? Them, but it just gives me the actual her logic is astounding to me so it's just a lot easier to just get pre-packaged oh well at least she used a different audio file this time i really don't care a lot of you thought i didn't cook my onions first i do um once they're about halfway done that's when i add a lot of you aka me that's literally what i said i whatever dude the meat okay okay some more water girl just use a little bit of olive oil like it's not use some evoo use the rachel ray shit it's not gonna hurt gonna you my turkey bloop just grounding it up a bit 
Wow, so I much work. This is gonna be all Mrs. Dash. Salt. Oh yeah. Holy shit. I love how she got on Zach for like not following her recipe. And whenever she does these recipes, she doesn't say how many teaspoons of this, how many cups of this, how many pounds of this, how many of the, it's literally just whatever she fucking feels like, which is fine. I mean, if you want to cook that way, but like also don't get annoyed when people are like, bitch, how are we supposed to follow this recipe? You don't even, there's no recipe. It's whatever you feel like. I know I have onions in there, but I feel like minced onion and onion powder taste different. Oh you know, my god. Like this is sodium free. Jesus Christ. For the most part. You can even look it up. Ugh. So, so much. The onion powder. And the garlic powder. Is it just me or is where the pot placement on that stovetop really triggering? Like it's triggering me to no end. It's like on the edge, not even all the way on the burner correctly. It's, I'm triggered. I don't have any fresh garlic at the moment. Like you would use fresh no, garlic. Obviously. I would love to see her try to pepper. mince some garlic. I like a lot of pepper in my oh soups. My God. You can add the pepper later to taste. Oh, whatever. And now no one's going to be making this and eating this. No one. Not a so well, maybe Zach, but no one else. Here's some advice. If you want to get that like more um, thicker, consistent, see, don't use diced tomatoes. Use crushed tomatoes. So the meat is cooked. I'm going to add the tomatoes. Honestly, fresh tomatoes. When have we ever seen you use fresh tomatoes before? What? I can't, dude. Would probably taste better. <laughs> We've never seen you use but a fresh tomato before. Those are also really good for soups. I do like cooked potatoes. It's potatoes. Duh. Tomatoes. This is what it looks like. And I like tomatoes in salsa. I think it's You like tomatoes in salsa. Ma'am, the majority of salsa is tomato. The f I can't. You are so dumb. Because it's processed differently. Because I can't do the whole raw tomato thing. What? Otherwise. You were just talking about how amazing fresh tomatoes were, but you can't do raw. I okay. All right. Now we're going to add. See how much she puts the in. Chicken broth. She's putting the whole thing in. This baby is going to be thick. I can already tell because the one potato made so much. Look at all this. Just one potato. I'm going to add some of my hot sauce because I like it hot. <laughs> Her palate. Her one... Dude, your one taste bud did you so dirty, Amberlynn. Like, I, uh, I couldn't imagine being, like, craving something like this. Like, you need a taste bud transplant. I'm going to add the potatoes now. Be careful of the splatter. <laughs> And then I'm also going to add spinach. Obviously, spinach wilts down, so add as much as you want. I'm sorry, is she going to spray it with Pam next? So this is what it looks like. It's going to be super thick, <laughs> like I can already tell. It might not even be a soup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a lid and let it let it do its thing. So I'm sitting here waiting for my soup to be done, and I want the tree on. I wanted it on over overnight, but Becky's afraid it's gonna catch fire. So, I mean, you can't really. Isn't it made of plastic? Can plastic trees catch on fire? I tell. All right. <laughs> uh, wait. Let me turn off the light. So you guys can see. Oh my God. How many bottles of water do they have? 
Look at all our Christmas junk. Oh my god. Look. Oh, the bed's out of the living room. For it. Love it. It is doing its thing. A little update on how it looks. Ew. Uh... Oh my gosh. It looks delicious. Or at least to me it does. So, I'm gonna try one of the potatoes. No, ma'am. Burn my mouth and see how far cooked they are. <clears throat> how far cooked? Whoops. Like distance. I was trying to get that one off. How oh far cooked God. they are? <sighs> Let's blow on it together. Well, I'm gonna burn my actual mouth right now. Mm. I'm gonna give it another. She loves it because it's just salt. Five minutes. It's been on here for about, I'd say 15. So here is the completed. It did boil a lot, which evaporates the broth. It looks like literal which I'm totally throw up. Okay with because this looks delicious. And this is probably the consistency I should start making my chili. But I love broth. So, um,. This is actually super delicious, so if you want to follow my recipe, go How? for it. How could anyone follow the recipe, Amberlynn? There were no measurements provided. There was no cooking time provided. Like, what? I, okay. Um, All right. It's really good. So I got done eating probably about an hour ago. I'm catching up on some Vlogmas videos. I'm watching at least 10 people's Vlogmas. So I feel like I'm not going to be caught up for a very long time. I'm going to be watching people's vlogmas in like the summertime, which is totally fine with me. I kind of feel blah today, honestly. Just like very run down. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I still have a cold. Um, the day quilt and the night quilt definitely help. That's probably why symptoms. you feel I that way. Like take away my cold, but it's nice to like have just a tiny bit of relief. Um, you I know, it surprises me that like she uses dayquil because you know she has high blood pressure i know i know she has high blood you can see it in her face like she's always red so i would not be using dayquil because that shit increases your blood you, you need to get the quercetin stuff okay the heart healthy and stuff last night and it helped me fall asleep a lot earlier thank god so that was nice um i don't know what i'm gonna do without nyquil because I fall asleep so late. Oh my god. I actually knew someone who would take NyQuil every single night. And they did it for years. That's not healthy at all. That just doesn't seem like that's good for you in my opinion. I yeah. Don't start that please. I don't know. So I just got the tree on. And watching. Right now I'm watching La Vida de Meg. I'm still a little bit behind on her videos. So. I haven't started her vlogmas yet. She calls it vlog December, which love that for her. Um, I'm just really interested. She's in a life. traditionalist. Amberlynn's a traditionalist. She likes the vlogmas more. Vlog number one. So I've been through the ringer with her. I did a little tour. <laughs> As of we shopping. with you. As so of we with you. you I think I'm actually going to do it standing up so you guys can see it like better. I don't want to do like a try on situation though. These hauls like make said, no sense to me. Feeling, I don't understand. Dude, who needs this amount of clothing? Like, y'all out here being like, she's changed. She's changed. She is the exact same Amberlynn Reed she's always been. This is actually today's outfit. Oh, my God. So this is the first dress. It is a size four. With I don't understand why Torrid does so many horizontal stripes. Like, I've noticed that with a lot of her hauls or whatever, there's a lot of horizontal stripes. You would think that they would have more vertical stuff since that makes you look slimmer. Black whatever. in like a burgundy striped situation. Another dress in a size four. It's literally the same exact dress you're wearing right now almost. A gray, a gray jersey niche dress thingy with a floral pink pattern on it. Gray. It's like exactly the same. White flowers. So Arizona T so needs to come and copyright strike this. I got quite a few. <laughs> they need a copyright that are more so just toward like for these fucking patterns. So here's another four, just in this like army green color, which I love. So I actually. So she's ordering clothes that are like two sizes smaller than her. So that's why I think she's not trying it on. 
is because she knows it's not going to fit. So it's like, why even pretend, right? Got this dress in a size five. It is Mickey Mouse. I don't think that's going to fit. Dress. Another casual dress in a size four, just gray. That's not going to fit either. Just like the gray and green one. Size four in purple. I got this super cute blue dress in a size five. Love the material. It looks like a bunch of Duggar dresses. Like, I swear the Duggars are wearing this stuff. So this is called a shark bite top. I got it in a size six. I love the green color, and it has this really beautiful lace. The armholes are the humongous. I don't know how to even describe it, like, but it feels, like, nice and cool. Oh, a cooling? A cooling material? Uh, so, last thing... <laughs> bags hold on you can't even last thing i got is a sweater that doesn't fit you five that doesn't fit you feels like a super soft looks like a pocket. robe it or looks like a it looks like a rug it Who does look like a rug back pain back pain everybody back pain this is honestly so soft it looks like a rug oh my god it's I'm a rug this in black I wonder if they have a black one. It's, it's the amount of money she must spend on Torrid. Dude. Popcorn eye. I wonder if her bank is just like, Hello. you spend so much money so, at Torrid every day. Like, I can't. It's 5.30. Um, Becky is going into tractor supply. Because Interesting. there's this like brush type deal here for cats. Um, Wasabi. You guys know my cat. He has really long thick fur and it gets worse during the winter and it's getting cold outside so it's definitely getting really bad so he has a few little knots Ugh, this happens with thick haired long haired cats mm, i mean it does but if you keep up on their grooming it doesn't like i've had a long haired cat when i was younger and we would brush him out like pretty much every other day because he loved it first of all and second of all because it was good for him but so you're like so what so what i'm what i'm gathering from this is that they don't brush that they don't brush wasabi or the dogs really in general because that's why they have to go and buy a comb because they don't have one so they never do it it makes me so sad so we need to get that taken care of so so sad that you've never done it before you guys i'm just not having a great day i'm gonna be honest like my day is just horrible i'm gonna be completely transparent with you it's been so I just have no like energy and I don't like feeling that way because I've been liking lately where I've just had all of this energy that I have no idea where it's came from. It's been like amazing and I'm just you're on, really good. You're in phase and one. Don't all copyright of a sudden me. Today I'm just like This is how you usually are hi. at the beginning. So, the green bar again. The soup I made you was, I made you, I made me, <laughs> was for my first meal and we just left a Chinese restaurant. I'm mad at myself for the sense of like, I- So she's eaten out three days the past four days. Want to All teach right. myself to eat out less. Like I don't mind eating out like once a week, but to eat- You've already eaten out three times this week and it's fucking Tuesday. <laughs> like the fuck? a couple times a week is just not really what i want to do for myself and for my body and i feel like since i've the green been, bar like, again she needs to stop editing on I'm her iphone like, down today i really just like didn't care which is frustrating because it's not like how i'm wanting to live my life right now is she but gonna i just start wanted crying? to be transparent and be like i'm just not having the greatest day today Sometimes you just wake up and you cannot pinpoint what is causing you. Here we go. We're going to, I, mm. see, this is what I'm saying. Like everyone was like, oh, she's starting anew. She's, no, this is the same stuff. This is the same exact problems that she's encountered for fucking eight years. That's why it's literally insane because she repeats the same patterns over and over again and expects different results. And that's not going to happen. That's not going to be the case. If you're not actively seeking treatment for your eating issues, you're never going to recover. And Amberlynn doesn't have the tools. Amberlynn barely has the tools to live. 
So she doesn't have the tools to overcome something like this. So for her to think that she's going to miraculously recover is ridiculous. To feel this way. And the only thing I can think of is I took NyQuil. NyQuil usually makes me feel freaking crazy for like 24 hours. So... But you've been taking it for the past three days. I'm maybe that's confused. what it is. I don't know. So I might understand. stop taking NyQuil and just stick to my DayQuil. But either way, I just feel lethargic. And now I'm just... Dayquil Ramblina. has decongestants in it, so it's just going to make you, like, Ramblin. super hype. So, we've been home for a little bit. We had some friends over, played some games. What, babe? I don't know, I was watching. Oh. <laughs> She's, like, staring at me. Becky's, oh like, God, catatonic. In the eye, which, who knows? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, I just put on my shoes. We're actually about to go to Walmart. Um, the amount of movement that she makes while walking and the like the 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 very minimal distance that's tra that is like traversed is is so crazy to me. Yeah. How's your day been, babe? Uh, it's been pretty good. How's it? Yeah. You're not showing me good. Oh. Becky has <laughs> lost weight. Cute as hell. Becky looks like a zombie though. You see, that also concerns me, too, with Becky, is, like, she looks so, like, just sedated, in my opinion. Like, she looks very sedated. And, like, she's out here driving all these people around and shit. Like, I don't know if she should be driving, real talk. Okay. So, I'm going to that Walmart life. Took care of Wasabi. We're actually gonna schedule him a groomer appointment, which I'm excited for that. That's just how it goes when you He's have a long hair freak cat the fuck in winter, out. which, yeah. Um, she has her own I tour store in the living room. Scratching thing yesterday, and look at that. They've already used it so much. I put catnip on it. I was going to um vlog, but my vlog was already ended. But I put a picture on Snapchat. They were like, <laughs> they were acting as if like they were on drugs. It was so cute. It's, it's Look catnip. at the pretty Christmas tree. Oh my god, that's huge. Oh my gosh. Instead of doing like a typical gingerbread, you could do a gingerbread sleigh kit. I am literally... She is so amazed and See, amused like by the dumbest house, thing. Like down there? Oh my gosh, I think I want to get one of these. Uh, we could do it, do, do it during Vlogmas. I don't know. That is so cute. I know a lot of people are like, why do you go to Walmart so much? Every literally, day. You literally not? go right every day. Road. Kind of. Poor Becky's sitting there trailing behind her again. I also like to look at stuff. And I mean, it's not really that big of a deal in my opinion. I just could not imagine walking into a Walmart and seeing this woman vlogging herself while in the scooter while her girlfriend looks like a zombie the walking dead behind her following her around while she talks about how she likes to go to walmart every day like i would i'm sorry but i would die of laughter i would just be like wow this is literally a people of walmart situation type deal plus i for sure i know i'm in the clothing aisle high but i need to get more like fresh foods because when i buy fresh foods i use the fresh foods and then i have to buy how are you going through food so much i what you go grocery shopping every day and you don't get a little bit of amount of groceries you get a lot so how are you going through stuff so so quickly fresh foods which is a good thing at least i'm not buying like just processed stuff you know you guys look dear santa i've been a good doggy oh my gosh santa the tree falls over all by itself the cat living santa i tried to be good but i got bored the dog okay these are life like that's super cute so i'm in the meal prepping section why so, when i got my meal prep storage it came with 10 and for some reason we only have two i think they're just accidentally getting thrown away because they look identical to like if you were to order like takeout from chinese or <laughs> the amount whatever. of trash that that house like must those. go through is so, ridiculous i need new ones i can't because Long story short, she's throwing them away. I, I would put money down that amazing, she's the one throwing them away. And sodium, and I notice that it's making me swell, and I just don't want to swell. So I feel like I need to stick to like simpler things, like broccoli, chicken, rice, and call it a day. I personally enjoy it. 
So it's gonna be easier for me to meal prep. So I'm over here. I'm gonna choose. You don't meal so prep, dog. You make food and then like, have leftovers. Know, becoming January. You don't. When everyone tries to lose weight. You don't measure well, anything out. So I'm gonna choose, and then I'll show you which one I choose because there's like a million different options. So I'm gonna get these. There's five of them in it, and there's they're a circle, which I like, and they're in these little dividers, which will be good for if I want to like divide my food, obviously. Duh. So. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. You guys, I want oh, one of God. these so bad. I would love to do like she a She thinks whole, she's such an influencer. Take one picture every day for 365 days. Girl, you like, can't even like ugh, do 100 days of weighing in. Color. Like, Ooh, or you think you're going to wake up every day and take a picture? One. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's an actual like worm or caterpillar or something yeah bugs live in vegetables on this. bugs live in nature like i can't make surprise it out surprise very well on my phone camera but in person i am so glad i didn't buy this i was like ready to run you really think there's not bugs on all the shit you buy see this is why you have to wash your shit even if it's pre-washed this reason right here this should be an eye opener to you but whatever Bull. Now I'm just kind of like sick to my stomach, to be honest. And honestly, I think what freaks me out the most is because on here it says washed and ready to eat. I guess now I can't trust that anymore. I don't know. I just can't do it. Like I was going to get that bag. I'm just going to leave it where I found it. I don't know. Okay, guys. So we're back home. Still triggered by the broccoli thing. I have no words. Like I understand oh broccoli is from the earth. So are caterpillars, but putting two two together is just weird to me. So instead of getting, I mean, have you ever taken like a an earth science class or anything? You understand that there's an ecosystem out there, and like that's where bugs like that live. Like, come on, sis, you can't be this dumb. Broccoli or anything fresh. <laughs> now she's just I'm gonna just get scared. frozen stuff so, again. I got green beans. And there it which... is. I never knew. You could have washed that broccoli and you would have been perfectly fine. That canned green beans had a lot of sodium in it until you guys told me. So I went on the search. Everything that's canned practically has a ton of sodium. It has a ton of preservatives in it. And I found no salt added. So regular canned green beans per serving have 380 milligrams of sodium. That shocked me, so thank you guys for telling me, because per can there's usually about three servings. So somehow, some way, in a normal can of green beans, there's about a thousand milligrams of sodium. Wow. But this one, for the whole can, is only 30 milligrams. So it's only- I'm glad she finally learned how to say milligrams and grams instead of MGs and Gs. Progress. 10 milligrams per serving. But if you drain them... Okay, I really don't care. I told you guys. Fuck. I did get these for a reason. Meal prepping is so much easier. You've, you've, we've never seen you meal prep. What are you talking about? You've never meal prepped. You make food and then have leftovers. Than cooking every single day. I also got a few... You cook every single day. What are you talking about? Okay, all right. A few brown rice. Sugars. Sure. I know you guys... Want sure, you don't cook every day. You don't go to Walmart every day. Which I will eventually. This takes time. This takes time. I don't want to, like, go full swing. So it's just a lot easier for me to just get. To put some fucking water in a pot and rice. some rice this and boil it. It's literally just For water, 10 minutes is too hard. It's too... Canola, canola it's too forward oil. thinking for you. It takes no, too much uh, effort. Grams of sodium is only 15, so it's not bad at all. So... Yesterday, when I had the English muffin for breakfast, it didn't satiate me at all. So I'm gonna go back to having oatmeal. Got another box of that. So I took the plunge and I bought me an Instax. It's a Fuji film. I have honestly always wanted one of these, but for some reason I never bought it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. So I actually bought a few of the films that you need to put in it, the instant films. So I got some of those. I bought three books. Um, Jodi Picoult was my favorite author growing up. 
loved her. We're bored. Let's get to comment really of the day. Her books. Don't hate. Don't come for me. The dark side. Don't care. I don't really care. I honestly don't care. I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, a second for you. All right, you guys. So it is time for comment of the day. She's getting way less com well, comments. Well, I don't know if she's getting less Medicine, comments or it's because she's doing it so frequently now that there's not... Is, oh, they're talking about Becky. To Becky, she is not on narcotics. I have seen a lot of people say that. She's on something that's, that's making her very sedated. That's um, all I'm gonna she say. She's on medicine. Yeah, but definitely not a narcotic. Recommend title for her memoir. I really could have just had one sausage. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. That is so pretty good. To see all the movement you are making. Thank you. Yeah, um, I definitely move more than I used to, although I am nowhere near where I want to be. Like, not in the slightest of the slightest. I still catch myself obviously running out of breath. My back hurts really bad, but I am trying my very hardest every day. I would love to believe you're actually losing weight, but the reality is that someone your size could literally do the most minimal change in food slash exercise and the weight would fall off. You're not fooling us. I have definitely got to disagree with this. Uh, um, well, surprise, surprise, surprise. Downloaded says eat 3000 calories. You'll lose weight. Even that dietitian I talked to like, oh God, I don't remember. Was it a year ago? Told me to eat around 3000 calories. Obese to beast told me to do exactly and you didn't follow any of their rules. So why are we talking about this? What this um, calorie thingy? God, I forgot what it's called. TDEE. -E. It's like a calorie thing where you put in like your weight and all that type of stuff. And it tells you how many calories. Like when I talked to him a while ago. Yeah. Said, and then you like tried to malign him and all that shit. We remember that, Amberlynn. We remember that. We remember all the people you've reached out to and the people that have reached out to you to try to help you. And then you just fucking you tell them to fuck off or whatever. We remember all that. To do how many calories it told me, which was 3000. But every time I eat 3000 calories, I do not lose weight. Everyone's metabolic rate is completely different. Some other person who is my weight we she's the enigma she's the one-off she's the anomaly she's the one that science somehow doesn't apply to shocker i mean this is all that these are what i mean this is all stuff we've heard before all of this she hasn't changed at all dude she's still in that same mindset this is all part of the same fucking thing for her to literally eat the same things every single day but one of us is gonna lose more and one of us is going to lose less. Yeah, because you're 600 pounds and most people aren't 600 pounds. Because everyone's metabolic rate is like theirs. You know, not everyone has the same, if that makes sense. She's going to spend all of her best years in this prison. You know, that's something she pretty much that already I has. think about all the time. And it really makes me like heartbroken that I've done this to myself. I really feel like not enough to do something about it apparently it's such a great time and it's like i have completely ruined that i'm gonna be 29 this month on the even when she even if she or when she loses the weight the damage she's done to her body is pretty much irreparable like she's not gonna be able to like she's not gonna be able to walk her knees are gonna be fucked like it's her hips all that stuff like she's she's pretty much screwed herself 27th to be exact and I have ruined 29 years of my life completely. And I don't want to ruin the rest. Why slice the sausage? Just lay the dang patty on the muffin. Agree, Ma I'm Maggie. <laughs> that was a real <laughs> what the it, fuck moment. I was like, why did I do this? The reason why I did do it is because I thought the um, sausage patty was going to be smaller, like a lot smaller than the English muffin. And I didn't want to just set the patty right in the muffin and then all the outside there was going to be like just English muffin. Do you get what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, well, if I slice it, then I'll be able oh to spread God. it out more. Well, turns out it was like perfect size. So, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of stupid. So this is Agree. the last thing I'm going to do. Ornament. It says ornament, ornament, not ornaments. <laughs> I get it. For some reason, all growing up, I said ornament, and I'm not gonna change that. Honestly, like right. ornament. Why? Ornament, why be like, illiterate? Why? With a D with an N. 
It doesn't really Why matter. use it's proper English thing. and use <laughs> proper I'm grammar? What's the point, right? Bye. <laughs> all right. All right. That was a pretty boring blog. I don't... People are saying that they're seeing these huge sleeping changes. I don't. This is all the same thing we've seen time and time again on this channel. This is... We just see this all the time. And until she starts seeing medical professionals and following their advice and actually seeking treatment both... Their, for her um, both emotionally, mentally, and physically, she's not going to yield any long lasting sustainable results. This is all just a means to an end for her. So, you know what? It is what it is. Um, I do want to talk about this because I was talking to a Twitter follower about this, and she was, we were talking about Becky and like how Amberlynn's continuing to tease this on Snapchat and Instagram and stuff like that, and even in her vlogs a little bit, and how it's just getting old. And she was, and we were talking about like why we think that Becky isn't um, being forthcoming with her diagnosis or whatever. I mean, she doesn't have to do whatever she doesn't want to do, but like I do think that like she shouldn't be driving. <laughs> I'm gonna put that out there. Like she doesn't seem like she's very alert. Um, she seems incredibly down and just like I like I said, sedated. And um, first of all, I think Amberlynn likes teasing it because Amberlynn likes the attention and she understands that by teasing it, people are going to be like, ask more questions, which is going to give her more engagement on YouTube, which is going to give her more money at the end of the day. Um, her reasoning, well, my reasoning behind why I thought that she's not talking about it is because ever since the whole ghost scam me thing and then the whole quitting YouTube, crying, and then talking about how she was going to commit, talking about like suicide and, you know, stuff like that. Like, I think now... I think Becky like probably doesn't want to talk about it because she's like, people aren't going to believe me now when I talk about stuff like this because you pretty much ruined it because you used it for clickbait. So I think that's part of it. I also think Becky doesn't want to share her personal information because she doesn't want to get burned. But my Twitter follower, she actually came up with a re uh, an actual a reasonable theory saying that she thinks that the reason Amber Lynn hasn't mentioned it yet or whatever is because when she is keeping it like kind of as a trump card. So that way, like if she doesn't succeed in this whole weight loss thing and, and the audience turns on her again, she'll be able to use that to garner sympathy again, which I was like, damn, that's pretty sinister. But also I, it's something I could see her doing. I mean, she's done way worse in the past. So like, I could totally see her being like, well, I'm just going to hold this close to the vest until I'm ready to like use it when I need to get people on my side again. And she doesn't need that right now because people are somewhat fooled by her antics. And so Right now, it's not necessary. But anyway, this is already super long. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. And like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.